when I first started out creating my digital products on Etsy almost 10 years ago now, <laughs> I um, didn't put as much effort into my mock-ups as I should have. Now, I did try my best at the time, and I mean, they were reasonable, but they weren't very, very good at all. So over the 10 years that I've been in business, I've really up-leveled my mock-up game. And especially when it comes to bundles, I know it's really, really important to put extra energy into these. Now, bundles make up around 60% of revenue in my store. They are the biggest sort of breadwinner for a digital product store. And I know that a lot of my students have a lot of, like they really struggle in presenting their bundles, especially in the business niche. So in this video, yes, it is an ad. I am going to be showing you a brand new product, which I have just brought out, which is really exciting. But I'm also going to give you, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I would go and create a beautiful mock-up, how to present it and give you all my best tips. So there's a lot of value here. You don't have to buy the scene creator at all to get value from the video or anything like that. So just getting that out of the way first. Now, let me show you some of the mock-ups that I've done over time. So you can see this one here is the mock-up for the final system that Evelyn and I have together. It's beautiful. It really sets the scene and lays out sort of the funnels and showcases everything. We've got the armory mock-up as well. And you can see Glenn created this cute little horse. It's, um, yeah, this one's one of my favorites. I do love the armory mock-up. We've got the passive income society mock-up as well. So lots of sweet flowers, a little coffee. Um, and yeah, it, it feels like a lot more valuable than just having the logo there, if that makes sense, because you're showcasing exactly what's inside. It's mocked up in a scene. So you can kind of visualize how, I guess the benefits of what these are, like these look like books, which they're guides or planners in the program. Um, you can see these like little software boxes, things like that make all the difference. And you can see this mock-up here is for Template Creator Society. Again, I'm making everything tangible. I've got like the little envelope liner and it's all really relevant. And you can see one of the things that I have in common is I always put plants in my scenes. Now, I... Like, I'm pretty sure I was the first person to do this. I see a lot of people doing it now, but I'm one of the first people who actually went and put beautiful like plants and scenes into their, their bundle mock-ups. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. And I have incorporated some beautiful plants in the scene creator. So I'm going to jump across. This is it. So I'm going to show you what's inside first, and then we'll go through and we'll make a mock-up together. I'll show you exactly how I would go about using it. So you can see in the first pages we've created, you can see we've got rose gold, which is pretty special. Not a lot of mock-ups have rose gold, but I was pretty, I was, I was like, let me have to put rose gold in this because I love it. So yeah, <laughs> that's the reason, that's the justification behind it. But I just feel like it can be a little bit more feminine and add a little bit of extra color to your mock-ups. So all of these are editable frames, which is really cool. Like you can go through, uh, let's see if we can find some flowers. I'll show you how these work. Um, it's all in Canva, so you don't need the paid version of Canva at all. You can use the free version and you can see frames like this. You can just drop your artwork inside it. So it's really quick and easy to use. We've got books and planners and all sorts of goodies here. Got some social media mock-ups as well. So I know social media is something that a lot of my students really struggle to sort of make real and tangible. So um, I've added this here with like some beautiful shadows and yeah. Now the props, the fun part, I've got heaps and heaps of plants, like an olive tree and all of the things that are like, I personally love to use. So I love adding greenery and nature to my mock-ups. We've also got some beautiful lighting. Now these are pretty special because we've included with and without the actual light on. So they can add a lot of ambience to your mock-up. Um, let me just add in a background here and I'll show you what I mean. Pop this in here. So you can see without the light and then we've got with the light. So this is really cool for adding depth to your mock-ups. Got lots of coffee, <laughs> beautiful like ceramics as well, sugar cubes, tea. I've got some drinks as well. I've got to have champagne in there. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> in the tutorial, um, if you've watched the tutorial for the digital product seam creator, um, you will have seen Glenn talking about his creepy dolls. So they are there. <laughs> Everything has shadows as well, which is really cool. So we, Glenn actually went in and he painted in, like in Photoshop, he painted in all of the shadows. So they are all like hand done and they're all matching. So they all match one another in the scene. This is one of my favorite tabs as well. I, th I thought it would be really cool to incorporate like some more nature in it, but like big oak trees and boulders and some terrariums. And you can see Glenn's made some lightning in a bottle, which that was his idea. I love that as well. We've got clouds. And I just thought this would be a really great one for anyone who's sort of in the spiritual niche or a nature niche or things like that. Or just if you like nature in general. We've got lots of luxury props as well. Um, lots of spiritual ones. Again, we've got like a, we've got a salt lamp and we've got with and without the light as well. So that's really cool. 
And one of my favorites, again, flowers. So we've got beautiful flowers, all of my favorites. We've got peonies and tulips and all of the ones that I love. So yeah, we've got some boho ones in here with feathers as well, which I thought was really cool. Then on the last couple of pages, we've got lighting effects, which I'll show you how to use these. You put these on last and they can just add so much depth to the mock-up. I've got some shelves as well. So if you want that look that like you've got like your, like your bundle sitting on a shelf, then these are really cool to use for that. And then we've got the grain texture, which I love to put on a really low opacity once I've finished my mock-up over the top. So let's, um, oh, I'll show you the pre-made scenes as well. So included in the scene creator, you get all of these pre-made scenes as well. So if you're not sort of confident in laying things out yet, these are a great starting point. You can see we've got all of these different ones here and you can see how they, just the tone is so different. Like this one here is quite spiritual. This one here is quite elegant. This one has all the cute little nature elements. This one's using marble. This one's quite soft. And this one's a little bit more masculine. So you can really get a diversity of looks from the scenes. It's really cool. Okay, let's jump in. Let's do a scene together. So I'm going to um, do it 1920. Oh, hang on. I better go custom size first. 1920 by 1080. And get just a blank canvas. We'll close down the pre-made scenes. Let's close all of these, to be honest. Um, we'll just have the first two open. So we've got our blank canvas and we've got the scene creator. So I always like to start by always putting in my frames and elements first. So um, if you're selling like a membership or a course or a bundle, you don't have to put everything in. So what I like to do is pick the very, very best bits of like, if you have like lead magnets or documents or planners or courses or whatever you have, I pick the best bits and I feature those. Now, I also really love to pick either a laptop or a computer for the central focus. Let's do rose gold. I'm just on my keyboard. I'm using control C, control V. Now, this is going to be like our central point and I'm going to build around it. And I'm not going to make it the same on each side because it, it looks weird to have things like perfectly symmetrical. It's better to have different on each side, but balanced so that it feels like it's weighted evenly. Now let's grab the beautiful rose gold laptop. Uh, grab these rose gold tablets. There we go. Another key trick to making these look fantastic is to making sure it's making sure that everything that you add is like it would be in real life. So you don't want things to be like oversized or anything like that. You want it to feel like it's like a pretty good realistic ratio to real life. You can see these ones here. They are kind of balancing this laptop over here. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add like some pages behind because I love that effect and it makes it feel like the membership or the bundle or whatever you're selling has heaps of stuff inside. Awesome, I'm really happy with that. Now I'm gonna add in some social media as well. Um, in, the, in the scene creator, I've created like social media going out both ways. So you can grab and these and just copy and paste them in. So again, I don't wanna do identical on each side. I want it to feel balanced. Beautiful. So I'm gonna put this a little bit higher. I'm gonna put this one a little bit lower. Awesome. So for me, that's that's almost, oh, I might add some affirmation cards actually. It's pretty much done though. Add these. I think those would look really cute there. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to do the rest of it. I'm going to add the props next. So that is going to balance it as well. So if it's not perfectly balanced at this point in time, that's totally fine. You can add props to balance it out. I'm going to start with a beautiful plant. Actually, I might go with this one. I'm gonna add a just in here, send it to the back. It's kind of like, and what I like to do as well is I like to layer things. So some of the elements are behind it. Some of, it, some of them are in front. It just adds a little bit more depth, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to grab some beautiful flowers as well. These are some of my favorites. So I'm going to put these in here. I feel like they're going to match the rose gold really nicely. If it clicks, if any of the elements click into a frame like that, you can just go undo, which is control Z on your keyboard. 
Uh, now I would love to put in probably a rose gold lamp. I feel like that'll match really nicely. I'm just gonna flip it. I'm gonna send this one to the back ish <laughs> so to the back ish so I want to have it still like over this screen here beautiful I'm really happy with that um I just feel like we need to balance this out a little bit so I'm not sure if this plant was the best choice I'm going to go back and pick a different one which has like a little bit more um volume I might even pick like the fiddle leaf fig I think that'll balance the beautiful lamp a little bit more beautiful I quite like it there and I'm going to adjust this so it's a little bit lower just to fill up that space a little bit more yeah I feel like that's looking quite good now I feel like we need a little ornament over here and something else um so when you're creating like scenes like this it's really good to have like highest point in the center and then kind of build it out so that the smaller elements are on the outside. Maybe we'll bring this back, but as a smaller plant, a little bit smaller. Yeah, I quite like that there actually. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit as well. So it's a little bit higher. I'm just trying to get this, this little page here, it's bothering me. So I'm trying to get that to go to the back. There we go. That's a lot better. I feel like, yeah, I just need like something extra Maybe a little, I do like this little deer. So I'm gonna pop him in there. Now I feel like the gold is gonna clash, but we can adjust that still. We can adjust it in Canva with the filters. So let's see if we can make it a touch more rose gold with the filters. So this one was probably closest, beautiful. All right, so now that I've added all of my props and I'm happy, I would add a background. Now you can do like a texture or you can do a flat color or you can put it on like a shelf. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit so we can see the computer. So the information is like, there's enough information there for us to know it's a computer. I might just bring this down a little bit. Welcome to my life. It's just me constantly tweaking things. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a lot better to me. It just looks a lot more symmetrical. This probably needs to be just a touch bigger as well. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to stop fiddling with it. <laughs> there we go. I feel like it's a lot better now. Okay. So yeah, next thing that I would do is add, let's add some like a nice dark background. I think that looks really beautiful with the rose gold. Um, and now we can go down to the lighting effects panel. We can copy and paste these in. So I love this like little lighting effect to use on a screen. I just think it adds so much depth. It's really cool. Um, I love the lens flare as well. We can add like a little bit of extra lighting over here. Maybe some particles. And drop those right back. Okay, I love how that's looking. And then one of the last things I always do is put the grain texture over the top. I just feel like it adds like a lot. So you can see that's way too strong, but if you put it down to like 10%, it's perfect. It just adds, it just adds that extra bit of texture. So that's how you use the scene creator. Um, again, it's a brand new product, really excited to be launching it. If you are a part of Passive Income Society, you do get this for free. So please don't go out and buy it. It is available for you in the vault. If you are just wanting to purchase it to use um, and you're not part of Passive Income Society, you can get it until Friday. It's gonna be available for an intro price of $27. Then it will go up to $47. So if you want the intro price, grab it this week. Otherwise it will be permanently available for $47. I'll add the link as a pinned comment below, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you picked up a couple of tips when it comes to mucking things up. I personally love doing this now and I know how valuable it is. So yeah, good luck with your mock-ups. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.